here's the thing is your goal is interesting because it's different than my goal oh talk to me because your goal is you want to keep in your team to have the best chances right no you're my oh, okay because I think I'm in a good spot yeah I think you are too like a good spot yeah so it's like like Lindsay I need to keep her for a number but it's like she's like literally not even part Lindsay of and this Jake. live game yeah. now yeah yeah I'm so glad she's back and Same. I'm so glad she has a shot sure great because she's an ally yeah totally agree same page yeah Virginia. don't bring up Derek why don't bring up Derek no why he's final three why do you think he's final three with me oh uh, and Jenna oh okay we've got like the secret Okay, you, Jenna, so, Derek. Like being like super. Uh, real. Okay, that means that means Glenn has to go. Correct. Okay. Well, no, I know you just gotta keep me in the loop. You know, some people are saying never will I vote against Glenn. So we just have to make sure. It's we mostly know. girls right now. I forget. I don't remember. There's so many fucking. People. If I am a competition beast, I love to win, and I cut the throat every competition. Here. Every single one. You doing it on purpose? I have to. Because if I win, then I show cards, and I'm playing two big alliances. What are your What's your other alliance, Derek and now I have Jenna? Derek, Jonathan, and Pete. <laughs> Look at this one. Because guy. I need I need to get the boys to vote. How nice of you girl. to share that with me? Okay, now you want the boys to vote off all the girls? No, I want the girl vote. Seeing a lot of male gaze in this conversation. <laughs> oh my God, it's Stacy. I don't know. That means you want a girl to win over. I mean, I would like to see the, a girl go f really far. Yeah. Who the fuck is Derek? I haven't spoken a word to him. Maybe three words. Who the fuck? Why do you fucking care about him? That's what are you talking about? I don't know who you, what you've been spending your day on, but Jenna's on. I'm awesome. not dating Derek, okay? Not, I wasn't suggesting well, that. I thought you said dating him. Da what you've been spending Wait, your day doing. Okay. I could take Lindsay. Take Lindsay. Okay. Take Lindsay over Can Derek. we agree? We can no. agree. That's cool. I can get on board with that. Okay, cool. So Because that's not the issue. That's I fine. just don't want you to not like me. Well, because. okay, yeah, good, because our friendship is on the line. It is on the line. <laughs> and <gasps> we haven't hung out that much. There's not really much we have to lose. Oh my God, <laughs> but we like so each other. Mean. Well, we just, we have a lawyer. But, but I like you. But, okay, we did have our team alliance, so if you're willing to protect Lindsay, yeah. then I'm, I will support this idea. Yeah, if you absolutely. will cut out Derek and cut up Jenna and Aliyoub. Yeah, okay. essentially they all need to go. This is going to be played like the spelling game. You'll each have a plate up here in the center. Uh, you're going to run back and forth. You can only take one card at a time. You can only have five cards under your plate at one time. And you're trying to get the best poker hand. Whoever has the best poker hand at the end of three minutes is going to win. I know. Yeah, we gotta bring cards back. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go down the line. We're gonna start with Derek. Derek, please flip over. I forgot what's the strongest, but I think this is something. Two, three, four, five, six of hearts. You have a straight flush. Nice. Six. Ooh, you have nice. a straight flush to a queen. That beats it. So, uh, Derek, you are out. Woo. Jonathan? I just I just got a full house. Full house does not beat that. Jonathan, you're out. <laughs> Don't mind being compared to her, I'll tell you. Glenn has a straight flush to an eight. That's not going to beat Lindsay's. All right, Ryan? <laughs> so I was like, aces are chill. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ryan has a straight flush to a five. That will unfortunately not beat Lindsay and I just Jenna. I grabbed things. I don't really know how to play this game. Oh, you were the one who took all our cards. Okay. Uh, and Greg? I just have a flush. I mean, uh, um, Greg has a regular flush to a king. That means that Lindsay and Dave are the Yeah! <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here! Everybody, everybody head straight to the couches because this is a double eviction. <gasps> Dave will have to immediately nominate two people for eviction and we'll go straight into the veto competition. Purely strategic. Okay. Is that good light? Is that decent? 
Yeah. It's nothing personal. It's simply because there's one coach that A, sent us out the first time. Then that's that personal. <laughs> <laughs> that, no, that part is not personal. You have three team members still going strong. So we got to lower these numbers, hopefully, um, and even things out. So we're going to nominate Glenn and Derek. We wish you the best fight for the veto. First time nominated, I don't like it. I'm hoping that all my groundwork will be off. I think that Glenn and I are screwed. I want her to stay, but it's looking really bad. Adam. Adam? Oh my god, I Look at the whole coach thing. Parker! Parker! Oh, we are going to play Stay or Fold, accounting confidence game, all right? So, I'm gonna give you guys one minute. You can't touch any of the objects on the plates. We have one minute to look at them and kind of guess in your head how much you think that there is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. Yep, stop. This is the one competition I am not going to throw. Unfortunately, I'm super bad at counting things. It's never been my strong suit. So I don't think I'm going to win this. All right, so you've all had a minute to look at a bunch of different objects and try to count them. Uh, what we're going to do now is try to guess how many objects there were. Um, for each of these rounds, you will uh, write your answers. Uh, you'll show your answers. We'll see all of the answers. And then you will choose to either stay or fold. If you choose to stay, you could potentially get a point. If you choose to fold, you cannot get a point. Whoever is staying, whoever has the closest to the number, I'm not going to do it without going over, it's closest to the number, will get a point. First person with three points wins veto. Now, if you chose to stay and you are the furthest away from the number, you are out of the competition. So you can either win by getting the first person with three points or by being the last person left standing. How many M&Ms were there? Flip. 100, 161, 365, 169, 83, 327. And flip. Okay, Parker is the only one who chose to stay, so Parker gets a point. Uh, the correct answer was 277. Uh, I believe that um, Lindsay would have won. How many popsicle sticks were there? What? <laughs> Okay, 110, 195, 89, 127, 68. Okay, choose to either stay or fold and flip. Okay, so we have, uh, we have Ryan, Parker, and Glenn has chosen, to, have chosen to stay. The correct answer is 65, which means that Parker gets another point, and that Ryan is out. Okay, well, you try and you're going to would have one chance to get how many poker chips were there? What? 420, 219, 9, that's 98, right? 80, 200, okay? And flip. All right, Parker and Glenn have chosen to stay. There were Lindsay. 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 Oh, and Lindsay. The correct answer is 205, which yeah. means that Glenn gets a point and Lindsay, you are out. Woo. How many rubber bands were there? And flip. 197, 531, 212, 400. Choose whether to stay or fold. Okay, and flip. Okay, Parker and Adam have chosen to stay. There were 155 rubber bands, Parker. Yes! Yes! Can you take your spot right here? Uh, yeah, this sucks. I'm not gonna win this. Fucking hell. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Parker, you handsome man, you. Parker, <laughs> 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 oh, you, you look very good in that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. well, <laughs> well deserved. Uh, congrats on your second win. Um, I have won nothing this whole game. I really thought I was better than this. But um, uh, I feel like I'm going to be pretty easy to get rid of. Uh, if you keep me, I will uh, help out your team, and I won't eliminate it. If I have the chance, uh, otherwise, that well. Oh, Parker, you handsome man, you! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I'm just gonna kiss you, you know? <laughs>
Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Um, so I think, I mean, gosh, this really sucks for both of us, I think, for Derek and I. We both had a, a lot of fun in this game. Um, and I think um, I would love to at least get a little bit farther than this so I can tell my brother that I did a good job. So Aww. that's the only reason I would like to say. But <laughs> baby doll. I've chosen... I can't do this! Come on! Come on! I mean, big your fate lies on. with me, boy. I am All your... Right. I'm your girl. I chose to use the power of veto. Oh. I'm playing. <gasps> what? Oh my god! Alright. Well, Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Parker just gave me uh, safety from being eliminated. Um, and it feels really good. It was a nice surprise. Um, but I'm really excited, and I get to. I took a picture of this and I sent it to my brother, and he was really proud of me. So, um, thanks, Parker. Hey, Dave, come on over. Then replacement on me. All right, come on, come on, come on. They got the choice. Say any name. Right, Jonathan. Oh. Okay. Oh, my Lord. Thank God we kept Jenna because she pulled through to get Parker to pull Glenn off the block. And Lindsay, what are you doing not putting up Pete? Are you kidding? We did as we were told by everyone and put up two Steve teams. And then Parker, without discussing with us, saved, used the veto on Glenn, the one girl we wanted out because Derek was kind of with us. So I was like, put Pete up, put Pete up, put Pete up. Yeah. We put Glenn and Derek up, thinking that we'd get Glenn out. Why do you use the on Glenn? Because she is with Jenna. We're pissed because Parker used the veto without telling us. I was being pressured so hard. Oh my God. By um, Jenna, she kept telling me to put to use the veto. I did not want to use the veto. I wanted to keep him the same. Wow. Because like I just felt like that was our chance. Yeah. That was our chance to at least knock one of his numbers down. Right. But she was like, she I mean, she was like so convinced. Jenna is convinced she's in with Pete and um, Glenn. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my god, I don't know. I mean, well, not Derek, but like, and I don't even know why the fuck Lindsay put up um, Jonathan. Jonathan. It's gotta be Derek, <clears throat> in my opinion. They're not voting for Derek. Ryan's not voting for Derek. So they're voting for Jonathan? Yeah, I think so. It's a shame. Lindsay should have, sh Lindsay should not have put up Jonathan, Jonathan at all. Like, I'm surprised. Because I kept telling Dave, I was like, Dave, replace with Pete, replace with I Pete. I said Pete too. I said that to, to Lindsay and David. And then I, after I said that, Steve was so pissed. Because he obviously was oh, near me. Yeah, he was near me. And oh, I was, shit. Beep, 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 beep. But it's true of his guys. Yeah. So I get why he wouldn't want to vote for the job. But either way, one of them needs to go. But like, come on. He's got three people. Pete and then get rid of Terry. That's my opinion. Yeah. I'm sure he's a great guy. I'm sure he's awesome. I just haven't talked to him this game, so... Yeah. Like we gotta Should get... we try to influence? We can. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if there's, I don't know if it's late, but we can see. I've had so much fun. You guys are all awesome. Um, <laughs> if I go home, cool. Uh, I'll stick around and choose a winner. Um, we've got a great underdog story over here. Someone who started alone. Somebody who I would vote for in the end. Um, you may not want to sit next to him. But... <laughs> yeah! I feel like in the end, I'd be easier to beat because I haven't. Not much. So. Um, <laughs> Take that into consideration, or you know, it's more like the window. Oh, it's really nice under this bus. Um, I will say that uh, you know, I've had a great time. I did not expect to go this far at all. Um, I will say that you know, the people that I've been talking to, I've been, I've been strong, and I've not lied this game. I like, I've, I've told people if I'm voting you out, if you need some help. Um, I still think that this guy is a beautiful man, and if he's in the final two could really much win as well. He's got strong alliances. This is his first time up here. This is my second time up here. No one's talking about Derek. So, and my name has come up a lot. So, sorry. So, we're about to line up for the last stretch of the game. And, um, I did not expect to have this much emotional up and down. Like, I feel like I was playing the video competition and I thought I was really dizzy. So I was like, I don't know what to do. Um, so I vote to evict um, Jonathan. So uh, I'm voting for uh, Jonathan. <clears throat> he's a cool guy, but he's been playing the game a little shady, 
and uh, he did some things that I just think were great. But also, I think Derek um, is probably a better long-term player and could probably surprise and win. So that's what I'm doing. So unfortunately, I'm voting for Jonathan. I have to stick with my guy, Derek. Sorry, Jonathan. I'm voting Jonathan because he's a sweetheart, and I know he's going to probably win at the end if he's against me, and I don't want any of those people in my top three. And my top five are still strong, so we're going to figure that out. This is a tough vote because I've been allied with both of these guys since the beginning, but um, I'm going to have to stick with uh, our, our team and vote out Jonathan. By a vote of five to zero, <gasps> Jonathan, you've been evicted. Oh, oh wow. Bum, bum, bum. So I got eliminated, which is so sad, but I made final eight, so that's kind of cool. Um, I just, I don't see why I was booted up over Derek. Like, Derek's a bigger threat than I am. Like, at the end of the day, like, he's been in so many more alliances. He's double-crossed more people. I've been very honest with what I was doing in the game, and I've told people what I was going to do. And I've given suggestions to people about how they can help their games, and I've been very selfless with my advice, so I'm just so confused as to why I left. Um, and I'm also confused as to why Lindsay and Dave put me up if their goal was to get rid of one of Steve's players. I was working with Pete, but I'm like, why would you not put Pete up over Glenn? But then... Let's hear. Oh. I have no idea. You scared me. That was fucking sick. This goes to I know why. Uh, you heard yeah, you. You yeah. pitched me. This bitch pitched me because she's been after me all day. Uh, exactly. They're working with Pete. No. Lindsay, oh. What do you mean no? I, I know. This is my exit interview by exit, hey. please. <laughs> exit stage left. Um, I was here crazy. first. I but it's just, it's so crazy to me. I'm just like. Why would you not get rid of Pete? Like, why would you not eliminate Steve's people? Like, they're obviously all working together. Glenn is with Steve and Pete. Like, it's just, they're doing so well. He got everything to go his way. It's ridiculous. I don't understand this. No, I don't, I don't understand why they didn't go up. I am beyond livid, and I don't get it. Why I deserve to go over Derek. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much. I had a great time. It's been a blast.